Another great one, stretching. There's so many different variations of stretching out there, it's incredible. The one I primarily want to talk about is static stretching, and there's so many variations of that one out there too. You know, you some people you see some people walk along, say down at the athletic track, they'll pick one leg up, they'll hold it behind their bottom for one, two, maybe three seconds, and then they keep on walking. Have they stretched? Not, not on your nelly. I want to ask you one question first: How fast is life? Apart from my pregnant pause, it's pretty fast, isn't it? So what I'm saying is that the brain tries to preempt what we want to do next. Now if it's trying to do that and we're holding for two or three seconds, you totally just wasted your time. They reckon it takes five to ten seconds to start to relax into a stretch for the brain to switch off so that we can start to get some sense of stretching. So in the sense of an effective stretch, anything less than 30 seconds, you're wasting your time as far as a static stretch goes. If you're really tight in an area or if you're coming back from injury, I'd say go one, maybe two minutes. And it again will vary on one other factor. Are you a big bulky person or are you a light thin person? Light thin, you're probably not going to have, well, you're not going to have anywhere near the same muscle mass to stretch out, are you? The density is not there, the thickness of the muscle. So you're probably, in all, in all reality, not going to have to stretch for as long. But if you're big and if you're bulky and if you do fast explosive sports, you're probably going to need to stretch for longer to get into the depth to allow the surface layers to ease off so that we can get in and stretch the deeper levels. Um, relative to that, you might find that at some point in time you just can't stretch. You're trying to stretch, you're holding for a minute, you're holding for two minutes. It's not happening. Is there a way out of this? Is there a way that we can restore this? Yes, there is. Something that surrounds each muscle individually and also each muscle group is a thing called fascia. So fascia is a three-dimensionally contractile type structure that when it does contract, it inhibits the normal contraction of the muscles that a, it surrounds either individually or as a group. It also surrounds each organ and a lot of other stuff as well. So in the visceral area, in our abdominal area, in the thoracic area, it can almost it can also impact. But we're talking about stretching here, not visceral manipulation. So I'll s stick more to the, the track. If we loosen the, the fascia off, and we can do that with, say, the calf, the hamstring, the quad, and get your back stretching very, very quickly and easily by working the muscle on a stretch. It's normally very, very sharp. It's almost like cut glass or, or razor blades when, when the work is actually being affected because it's hooking into the surface of the area. It's not going deep into the muscle because we want the surface, we want the fascia. So that is an option. If you're feeling like you can't stretch, you've lost that ability to stretch, you need a bit of fine tuning, find someone that does direct technique myofascial release and then see whether they cannot help you. You might need to get into someone, say, more sports specific, if it's for sporting reasons, where you want that stretching to happen again on a good level. I hope this is of some help.